Hello, my name is Quick. I am a pharmacist. In this video, I'll be discussing seven health benefits of beetroot that are supported by evidence. And also stay tuned until the end as I will share two important or key precautions regarding the consumption of beetroot that I believe you should be aware of. Now, since you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you have a fair idea of what beetroot is. If not, at a very high level, beetroot is a root vegetable known for its deep, vivid red-purple color. Now, it's the top root portion of the beet plant, scientifically named uh, beta vulgaris. Now, you can get it fresh from most grocery stores, or sometimes you can get it in a canned form, and it can be eaten, you know, raw, cooked, juiced, or even sometimes pickled. Or you can even use the leaves for salads or soups. Now, onto the benefits. The first one is that it is highly nutritious, but low in calories. Beetroot offers a good amount of essential vitamins and minerals while being relatively low in calories. According to the USDA, a 100 gram serving of boiled beetroot, equivalent to about roughly about a half a cup, contains just 44 calories, but provides about 20% of the daily value for folate, 14% of the daily value for manganese, 8% of the daily value for copper, 7% uh, of the daily value for potassium, and 6% of the daily value for magnesium. It also contains smaller amounts of vitamin C, vitamin B6, iron, and micronutrients. Now, if you're wondering what these uh, minerals do, folate is a type of B vitamin that is vital for DNA synthesis, cell division, and even fetal development. Copper is another trace mineral that contributes to energy production, iron metabolism, and nerve function. While potassium needs no introduction, it's an electrolyte that helps regulate blood pressure, fluid balance, and muscle contractions. Another mineral that needs no introduction is magnesium, which plays a crucial role in over 300 or so enzymatic reactions in the body, including nerve transmission, uh, muscle relaxation, and even blood sugar control. Now, if you think about it, all this in just 44 calories is a remarkable feat. The second benefit is that it may help fight inflammation. One of the most distinctive features of beetroot is its deep red or purple color, which comes from a group of pigments called betalanes. Now, beta lanes are unique to beets and a few other plants and have been shown to have potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. If you're wondering, antioxidants are substances that protect cells from damage caused by what we call free radicals, which are unstable molecules produced as a byproduct of metabolism or sometimes even to, uh, by environmental exposure. Now, oxidative stress is an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body. In other words, it's a situation where there are more free radicals circulating in the body that, than there are antioxidants to take care of them. This can lead to several problems, including uh, chronic inflammation and various diseases, even including diabetes. Now, beta lanes can help remove these harmful free radicals from the body, reduce inflammation, and inhibit the activity of certain enzymes that usually trigger inflammation. Some studies have suggested that betalanes may help prevent or treat such uh, conditions such as arthritis, uh, liver disease, diabetes, cancer, and even some neurodegenerative disorders. Number three benefit, it may lower blood pressure because this is one of the most popular uses of beets. Now, beetroot is naturally high in nitrates, which are compounds that are converted into nitric oxide in your body. Now, nitric oxide is a gas molecule that dilates your blood vessels and improves blood flow. This can result in lower blood pressure levels and reduce risk of um, heart disease and even stroke. Now, several studies have demonstrated that Drinking beetroot juice can significantly lower both systolic and diastolic blood pressure, which is the top and bottom numbers of your blood pressure reading, in, in healthy adults and even in people who have been diagnosed with hypertension. Now, this blood pressure lowering effect seems to be dose dependent, or in other words, the higher the dose of the beetroot, the more pronounced the effect. Another observation worth noting is that the systolic pressure, which is the top number, seems to be more responsive to beetroot. So if your problem is systolic blood pressure, Beet, considering beetroot may not be a bad idea. Now, I have a very detailed video on using uh, beetroot as a means of managing blood pressure. I'm going to link that video in the description. You can check it out after you watch this particular video. Now, the next benefit is that beetroot may enhance athletic performance. Now, another benefit of nitric oxide production from beetroot nitrates is improved exercise capacity. Nitric oxide helps your muscles receive more oxygen by increasing blood flow and making use of oxygen for the muscle contraction more efficient. In other words, it makes the process more efficient. 
Now, this results in better endurance, strength, and power during physical activity. Now, studies have shown that consuming beetroot juice before exercising can enhance your performance. It can help you exercise for longer, uh, improve running and cycling efficiency, uh, increase maximum power output, and make your workout feel less difficult. Now, there is worth noting that the effect of beetroot juice on exercise performance may, however, depend on several factors such as uh, the type, uh, the intensity, and the duration of the exercise, you know, the dose, and even the timing of the juice intake, and the individual's you know, fitness level to begin with. Most studies have used around 300 to 600 milligrams of nitrate from beetroot juice consumed about two to three hours before exercise for the best results. The next benefit, it may support brain health. Now, beetroot may have beneficial effects on brain health, especially in older adults who are at a risk of cognitive decline. Now, as mentioned earlier, beetroot nitrates increase nitric oxide production, which improves blood flow throughout the body, including the brain. This obviously can enhance oxygen and nutrient delivery to brain cells and prevent neuronal damage. Some studies have found that drinking beetroot juice can improve cognitive function in older adults with mild cognitive impairment, uh, increase cerebral blood flow in healthy older adults and improve reaction time in young adults. So the, the benefit cuts across, it's not only for older people, it affects both young and old people the same. Now, beetroot also contains antioxidants that can protect the brain from oxidative stress and inflammation, which are associated with neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The next benefit is that beetroot may have anti-cancer property. Now, I'm not about to claim that beetroot is a definitive cure for cancer, but beetroot's high content of betalanes and other phytochemicals may have some potential to prevent or treat cancer. Now, these plant compounds can influence different activities inside cells that lead to cancer growth and spread. Uh, they can change how cells communicate, uh, control which genes are turned on or off, you know, manage cell growth, help manage self, cells to self-destruct or control the formation of new blood vessels which are needed by the tumors and affect the way cancer spreads at a process that we call our metastasis. Several test tube and animal studies have shown that beetroot extract or isolated betalins can inhibit the growth of various types of cancer cells such as our breast, our, our prostate, lung, liver, skin, and even sometimes leukemia. I'll be the first to say though that there is very limited evidence from human studies on the effects of beetroot or betalanes on cancer. One small study found that drinking beetroot juice for four weeks reduced tumor markers in patients with prostate cancer. Uh, there was another small study that found that drinking fermented beetroot juice for three months improved quality of life in patients with breast cancer. So the studies are limited, but they are promising. The next benefit is that it supports digestive health. Now, beets are a great source of fiber, which is essential for maintaining a healthy digestive system. Fiber helps to form and soften stool, making it easier to pass through the intestines. This can prevent or alleviate digestive issues such as constipation and diarrhea. Now, additionally, fiber can nourish the beneficial bacteria in your gut, which can uh, promote gut health and strengthen your immune system. One cup, about 136 grams or so of raw beetroot, contains about 3.8 grams of fiber, which is 15% of the daily value for women and about 10% of the daily value for men. Now, let's talk about the two key precautions that I talked about. Now, beetroots are usually very, very well tolerated, no issues, except for individuals who are prone to kidney stones. Now, beet greens contain high levels of oxalates, which can contribute to kidney stone formation. Oxalate levels are much higher in the leaves than in the root itself, but the root is nevertheless considered high in oxalate. So if you have a history of kidney stones, you probably want to be careful before you decide to take uh, anything related to beet. The second precaution is that consumption of beetroot may also cause your urine to become pink or red which is harmless, but often confused for blood. So this is just an FYI. There is really no cause for alarm here. It's not blood, um, but just be aware of it so that you're not surprised or you're not shocked if it happens. I sincerely hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. On your screen now is the review that I did for beetroot in its use for the management of hypertension. Hope you enjoyed that video as well. Stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.